Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new penny stock to the channel. The company name is Ion Energy, and they're actually involved in exploration for lithium in Mongolia. So I'm super excited to talk about this one for a number of reasons we're going to lay out in today's presentation. But before we do, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so and let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of ion energy before if you're currently holding shares and how you think they stack up to some of the other players in this space now with that being said let's get into today's video Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Ion Energy Limited, trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the ticker symbol ION.B, also trades in the US on the OTC Exchange under the ticker IONGF. Now this is a really interesting company for a number of reasons we're gonna walk through in today's presentation. As mentioned in the intro, they're really involved in the exploration and development of various different lithium assets in the country of Mongolia, right near China. And as we all know, China is home to the world world's largest electric vehicle marketplace. So I really think this company is in a unique position to take advantage of this market, especially considering the assets that they have under their portfolio that we're going to walk through a little bit later in the video. Now before we get into it, I wanted to take a quick look at the chart. So this is a six month chart on Ion Energy. As you can see, they closed out yesterday's session. So Tuesday, May 10th, they were up two cents per share, about 6% on the day to close out at 36 cents Canadian. And if we look at a six month chart again very similar to what we've seen in the macro environment overall back in the middle of November you guys ion energy was trading right below 60 cents Canadian so they have pulled back considerably over the last couple of months essentially cutting their share price in half and if you've been looking for exposure to the lithium sector or industry this may be a great opportunity to acquire shares and build your position at a fraction of the price you could have just a couple of months ago now in terms of market cap here they've got about 81 million shares out standing on a fully diluted basis so market cap on this one's in the range of about 20 to 22 million dollars Canadian again a penny stock in every sense of the word here you guys and as we've seen in the past especially with these resource focused companies oil is a great example of that right now these penny stock companies that are focused on resource exploration really have the ability to take off quite aggressively or quite rapidly as we start to see an increase in investor attention or a move in the underlying commodity or resource itself and with that being said, the reason for the big move we saw in share price during yesterday's session was actually on the backs of this press release that came out again on May 10th, stating that Ion Energy has now made a significant lithium brine discovery at their UN lithium project located in Mongolia. So they've got two key assets under their portfolio. We're going to talk about them again in more detail, but I wanted to bring up this article quickly just to show exactly how exciting or significant this discovery actually is. Ion Energy is extremely pleased to report the company has made a significant lithium brine discovery at its 29 thousand plus hectare 100 percent owned un lithium project in mongolia i'll use the un abbreviation in today's presentation to represent the yurgak naran lithium project and for those of you who are unfamiliar lithium brine is essentially the accumulation of saline groundwater that's enriched in dissolved lithium so it's groundwater that's rich with lithium now the brine sample that was collected at the surface from this shallow pool assayed at 918 milligrams per liter of lithium, which is extremely rich here, you guys. This is an exceptional early result for the company and is the highest grade lithium brine known to have ever been collected in Mongolia. So extremely rich or extremely high grade brine. This is also in line with the lithium brine results from producing operations immediately to the south in China. So again, very close proximity to the Chinese border and here's actually a look at the brine itself and that shallow pool on the surface of this location. 
So with that being said, obviously a big development for the company. And now we're going to jump over to the Ion Energy corporate website and talk a little bit about the backstory that's led to this organization being created. So in terms of how it began here, back in 2017, the two co-founders, Ali Haji and Matthew Wood, identified an opportunity for lithium exploration and development while on a trip to Mongolia to actually explore mining opportunities for another entity. So it almost happened by chance. They recognized that our world was on the brink of a green revolution again primarily electric vehicles we're talking about here and that the move away from fossil fuels would create unprecedented demand for battery metals like lithium and copper that we've covered on the channel previously and that's really where the idea for ion energy was created now ali and matthew started discussions with the mongolian government about the potential for lithium in the country and based on those discussions the vision for ion energy was then born now, if we continue to scroll down here, you can see their first asset was a license in the arid and infrastructure rich region of the South Gobi Desert, which is located just 24 kilometers from the Chinese border. So you can see that close proximity to both China and Russia. These are the two properties here. So again, the UN location or the Ergak Naran location and the Bavi Yul or the BU location, again, which I'll abbreviate in today's presentation. The BU lithium brine license was acquired in 2019. And since then, the Ion Energy team has pursued an aggressive growth strategy, which we're gonna talk about next up in the presentation. So now that we have a brief understanding of how this company was really formed, if we jump into the investor presentation and take a quick look at the corporate overview, there's a number of things I really wanted to address as we start to explore or unpack this company. So in terms of their assets, over 100,000 hectares, you guys, which is the equivalent of about 250,000 acres, again, in the country of Mongolia. They're the first lithium brine license ever issued in Mongolia, and an exploration is already underway, and they're finding some major developments Developments, as we just talked about in that press release. So the world is going electric and Ion Energy is ready for this third wave of the clean energy revolution and the increased demand for lithium. So two of the first questions that came to mind for me as I was doing my due diligence is number one, why lithium? So again, this really has to do with that movement towards the green revolution. We've talked about this at length on the channel, but lithium is really one of the key requirements for electric vehicles, electric batteries, storage, solar panels a lot of the technology that really makes this green revolution possible and we've actually seen this front and center in the investment community and the media so you can see a number of quotes here from routers talking about the number of banks that are now committed to investing in green energy and divesting from fossil fuels. Rio Tinto actually put out a forecast stating that about 85% of the lithium demand between 2020 and 2050 will need to come from new projects. Bloomberg talked about the demand for lithium increasing eightfold from now until 2030 as a result of the demand for electric vehicles. You can see articles from the actual manufacturers themselves. So GM pushing to make their own EV charging units and obviously you see Ford and General Motors are now fighting it out in the electric vehicle space with the likes of companies like Tesla. So we're actually seeing traditional automakers enter the EV space at a rapid pace and all of this is driving the demand for lithium. Now the second question that should come to mind is why Mongolia specifically? So it really boils down to a number of key points here. It's an untapped and unlimited potential for lithium. The management team at Ion Energy has successfully operated in Mongolia for over a decade and they've got a combined 150 years experience of mining and exploration. Now the next point really talks about Mongolia's interest in the mining sector. So right now it contributes about 20% of the nation's GDP and represents about 80 to 90% of the country's exports. So a very key component of the country's overall economy. The Mongolian government has prioritized an investment friendly environment. Obviously, if mining and exploration is really supporting the economy, they're going to have favorable policies to support that growth and behavior. And China, as we mentioned, is the world's leader in manufacturing lithium batteries and continues to outpace the global demand for electric vehicles and happens to be located right next to Mongolia. And with that being said, now I wanted to double click or take a closer look at each of the assets under the Ion Energy portfolio. So first up is the BU project. This is the largest exploration license in Mongolia. It represents an 81,000 hectare opportunity, which equates to almost 200,000 acres in a highly prospective site. And as we saw earlier in the presentation, very exciting results from these locations. 
So without going into too much detail, you can see the pre-acquisition results here. All drills located on this site contain significant levels of lithium. The average grade was 426 parts per million lithium, and the maximum grade at this site was 811 parts per million. So this is an extremely rich deposit and really makes production much more economical at this location. Now there's low potassium and magnesium ratios, so this is actually gonna favor the large crystal formation at at this altitude and temperature. They've got aquifers about 20 meters below surface. So this is what really creates that lithium brine. And when you look at brine compared to traditional hard rock sources, it really does result in lower production costs. Again, making the economics of these assets much more attractive. Now they actually began drilling this location back in December of 2021. And in addition to the lithium discovered at this location, they've also identified a new copper and nickel discovery. And here's a look at the drill program here, along with the brine being pumped to the surface. Now the second asset under the portfolio is the UN location, also known as the Rising Sun Project. This is the location that actually was referenced in that press release we talked about in today's intro. And this asset is a 29,000 hectare location or about 70,000 plus acres of highly prospective lithium terrain. So this site is key for two reasons. Number one, they've got infrastructure already in place. It's located in the South Gobi Desert. And secondly, it's located only 150 kilometers northwest or west-northwest of the company's flagship BU lithium project that we just discussed. So the maiden exploration program has now commenced at this location. We just talked about some of the exciting preliminary or initial results that they're seeing from this site. This is a 100% owned location or asset as part of Ion Energy's portfolio and really represents this fast track and fully funded exploration program. So the details of the drill program are listed below. Again, I'd recommend you go in and take a look for yourself if you're looking to invest in this company. And I'll leave a link to the company website in the video description below so you can go in and take a closer look for yourself. So now that we've talked about how the company was created, we've looked at their assets in Mongolia, I wanted to spend a couple of seconds really building out their business model or their business idea. So why Ion Energy's Mongolian sites are at a geographic advantage compared to others around the world really is a key differentiator for this company. So a couple of things to note here, you guys, low cost production, again, very accessible, the infrastructure is already in place and extremely high grade deposits. They've also got a year round operating environment based on the climate and conditions in Mongolia. They're only 30 kilometers by road to the Mongolia-China border crossing, again, which is extremely important as you start to think about production. And they've got a strong location advantage over South American producers because Mongolia is now set to become a major player in the lithium sector. And again, the government is very invested in seeing the success of these operations because it does represent such a large portion of their GDP. Now I've mentioned a few times in today's video about the proximity to the Chinese economy and the Chinese border and there's really a number of key reasons why this is so important. So China continues to be the world's largest electric vehicle market and one of the key components of this marketplace is actually manufacturing lithium batteries. So Korea, Taiwan, Japan are some of the large tech industries that are going to fuel this demand for these lithium batteries and China currently dominates the lithium production with 77% of global lithium ion production capacity and based on their plans that are currently in the works or in the pipeline China will still hold 67% of the global lithium ion cell capacity by 2030 so they're expected to hold the number one spot globally for years and years to come. Now, in addition to the actual lithium battery production, we saw 51% growth in electric vehicles in China last year or in 2021, and EVs are expected to represent one of every three car sales by 2025. So they're producing the batteries, they're selling electric vehicles, and again, they're located directly adjacent to Mongolia. And on the right here, you can see a graphic showing the EV sales over the last few years. Now another exciting aspect about Ion Energy that I wanted to mention in today's presentation is actually this joint venture agreement with Orangin Resources in relation to copper. So you can see back in February of 2022, Ion Energy entered into a JV agreement with Origin Resources and this is an emerging copper explorer in Mongolia. So again, copper is one of the key elements in green energy technology. 
So this is a great opportunity for Ion Energy to take advantage of those strong indications they've seen at their BU location or asset, which shows significant copper and nickel anomalies that we discussed a couple of seconds ago. Now another key thing I wanted to mention and something I specifically look for, especially in these small cap penny stock type of plays, is the percentage of the company that's owned by insiders or management. So as you can see on the right here, about 25% of the shares are actually held by insiders at Ion Energy. In addition to that, they've also got about 7% of the company tied up with Mongolian investors who obviously have a great local understanding and expertise of the mining environment in that country. And as you can see, a number of other investment firms, which we're gonna talk about some of their price targets next up in today's presentation. And there you can see the fully diluted share count and that $20 million market cap based on the $0.32 cent Canadian share price we observed back on May 1st. And with that being said, here's some of those price targets I referenced on the last slide. So Coolier Capital has a $1 price target on ION. This is from October of 2021. FRC issued a $1.04 price target back in December of 2021. Zax has a price target of $0.48 cents US per share. And Stonegate Capital actually just came out with an article looking at the enterprise value to hectare ratio of some of these comparable lithium companies. Obviously a wide range here, anywhere from about $94 Canadian all the way up to $3,900 Canadian. But what's really exciting is Ion Energy actually comes in at $291 Canadian in terms of enterprise value to hectare, making them one of the lowest cost or best ratios in the industry. Industry. So a ton of excitement from the investment community and a lot of really bullish price targets for Ion Energy over the next couple of quarters. So with that being said, you guys, a ton of things to be excited about at Ion Energy. Again, they're in a super high growth industry here, you guys, really focused on the EV and green energy space. Again, we've talked about lithium and copper on the channel extensively in the past, and I think junior companies involved in the exploration and development of these assets are really in a great position over the next few years. They've got a very seasoned leadership team here, you guys, with over 100 years combined experience. Plus they've got country specific knowledge of Mongolia and team members that are from this country. They're fully funded to continue their aggressive growth strategy. They've got those strategic locations in Mongolia, which we talked about at length in today's presentation. We're seeing that rise in demand in the underlying lithium commodity. Again, great margin profile here with low cost production due to these extremely rich assets or deposits. And they're well positioned to create shareholder value as a result of all of these bullish factors or indicators that are going on at Ion Energy. So with that being said, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you're currently holding shares, what your outlook is on lithium and some of these lithium related companies and how you think Ion Energy stacks up to some of the other players in this space. Now, if you're still watching the video at this point in time, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button before you head out. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.